Well, you know, I'm not that interesting a person, to be real honest, but I'll, I'll tell you. Um, my family came here when I was five. We were farmers in the middle of Sweden, in Värmland, and we had just a tiny little farm, and my father had brothers. There was no hope for a future there. So they decided in 1870 that they were going to come to America. They were following a friend of theirs, and so in 1871 we began the trip. Christine Anderson Johnson is my great-grandmother. So the extra sh cemetery walk was done to raise awareness of the, those that were buried in the cemetery. It is not meant to be a, a scary experience. We want the people that are buried there to, we all have a story in life and we want to feature that story. And in the instance of Exho, the church was very willing to participate and help with the event. We did it in conjunction with their midsummer celebration. And so we were fortunate that many of the people who were portraying those that were buried there were either a relative or a friend or knew them, perhaps they even went to church with them which gives a, the person that's coming to the cemetery walk an extra experience. It goes to a deeper level of the knowledge of those individuals. Everybody does it a little bit different. With those that are portraying characters, we have found that some really want to become that person, but usually what happens is, yes, they dress up to portray that person to the best of the ability, and then they become that person. So you come up to the grave, and they would say, I am Olaf B. Anderson, and my story is, and they start to talk about that. They're not dead, so they don't talk about the way they die. I was born in 1875, just outside of Lake Park here. I was the pharmacist here. I was born on March 26, 1911, in Moorhead, Minnesota. Uh, my parents, Dr. Louie and Nanny Nelson, died when I was a very young boy, so I was raised by my aunt and uncle, John and Julia Nelson of Lake Park. Well, it was brought up that uh, they're looking for people to be portrayed at the cemetery walk. First off, it was my mother who was a teacher in a one-room schoolhouse. And secondly, the fact that my father was her student, later to become her husband, became an item of interest. And then when it comes to the idea of who's gonna portray my father, I thought, well, it is my job. That is what I should do. I was born in Dale. And I, the Martin and Helga rusted, and I lived on the north side of the Buffalo River, and I was a Norwegian. I was Norwegian, whole full-blooded Norwegian. I went to school at District 41, where I met this teacher, Mabel Rossell, and Mabel and I, we farmed there, we had dairy there, and she continued to teach. And at that time, she went to Hitterdahl to teach in grade school. I continued to farm. As I approached retirement, I went back to Holly and became a rural mail carrier. I would say generally, we have a little bit of a mix. This is the second cemetery walk we've done. Our first cemetery walk, we focused a lot on people who had settled the Detroit Lakes area. This cemetery walk focused, there was a couple of individuals that had started the church and raised money to start this church. One of the individuals had the church start in their home. But then there's always a few also that we portray that maybe didn't have super glorified lives. They were pretty average citizens. And it's really to drive the point home that we all have a story. Everyone's got a story that's important to the community. I think a lot of people think big when they think of stories. They think of like Anne Frank or something like that. And it's like if you didn't have all these people contributing to the community, you really wouldn't have the community as it is. I did not realize that she had come that young and that she was a charter member of the church until we first started this process. And my mom was like, well, you know, my grandmother was one of the charter members. The most interesting thing to me actually was the fact that she was 31 years old when she got married and started having children at 36. I think that had to be fairly remarkable for that time period. You know, I was a history major in college. It's always been an interest of mine. That's the part that I liked about it. And we tried when we found the people for our cemetery walk to get a wide variety of times. So we had some of those original members, but we also had people who had passed within the last 20 years. It's a good way for us to represent our past with living with us, you know. We're relating our own history, and like you say, we're learning just by digging into the past, but also it shows what a diversified group of people started this church. And it was a lot of, there's people that were businessmen, they were pharmacists, they were farmers, they were from every walk of life. 
The Cemetery Walks and Outreach Program is something that we do as a really great way for us as a museum to get outside of our walls and get out into the community and bring history alive in a new way that is perhaps relatable on a more personal level than just coming into the museum and looking at exhibits. Well, you know, it was a hard life. There was a lot of work to be done at all times, and we were farmers. It wasn't like I sat in the house and drank coffee with my friends very often. But when the work was done, we had good friends, we had good times. 